Query editor, data model, why do we have those two things? Let's find that out. So we want to understand why we have a query editor and our data model, so where we want to work right now. Let's think back about what we did in the last module. So we connected Power BI to source files, and we did that in the query editor, of course. After that, we cleaned our data. So this means we deleted rows, we deleted columns, we replaced values, and we did a lot more. Additionally, we shaped our data. And by shaping, I mean we created that population combined query, and we even created our base for that star schema, so that dimension tables and that fact table. So to summarize what we did there, we structured and prepared the data actually, right? So this was the query editor in the last module. Now we loaded the data into our data model, and we are in this module now. And what we will do right here is we will add relationships, and we will of course learn what relationships are, how we can build them, and why we need them actually. We will additionally learn how to create calculated columns and measures. Now, we will of course learn what the last two things are, and just one quick hint, both things are related to DAX, data analysis expressions, so this formula language of the data model. Now to summarize what we want to do right here is we want to analyze the data that we want to have. And that's the important difference that you have to keep in mind. In the query editor, you structure and prepare your data. In the data model, you analyze your data. So this means those two things are not equal. Those are two different things actually. Now that we know that, I think it's time to dive deeper into the data model. To do that, we have to go back to our workflow right here and now think about the data modeling section. And as you can see, we have two views. We have the data view and the relationship view. Both views are connected, as you can see by that symbol in the middle. However, I think it makes sense if we start with the relationship view first. Now, what that is and why we need it for our data, let's find that out in the next video.